I'm Craig Hall. I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager for Toro UK. Something we've done for a, a few years now, it's that ability to connect with dealers. It's the relationship and the link that the service dealer has between the manufacturer and the dealer. It's essential. Dealers are really essential to everything that we do and to be able to then work with a company that is not only trying to connect with dealers, but supporting and growing dealers as well. It's all the resources that service dealer offer on a wider basis as well. It's an opportunity for them to network. Um, they will we'll see each other at manufacturer dealer days and stuff, but I think they like that ability to network with different people. And sometimes people they may not see at other events. It's that ability to take time out of the dealerships to spend time thinking, listening to new ideas that they can then bring back into their own businesses. And I think it's a great opportunity to, to, to blend ideas and opportunities. And that's what dealers really like about it. More stability. I think over the last three, four years we've all had, we want a bit more stability. Either too much stock, not enough stock, um, everything's been going on. I think we're all looking for a bit of stability and the um, calmer trading environment for everyone, I think. Autonomy. So, it, it, so it's autonomy in a wider set of equipment. So we're seeing it in robotics, so it's that combination of two small robotics, and then you've got large equipment being electrified, and I think you see the two come together. Um, we've already got some prototype products already out in the States, which is out in the public domain. Um, so you'll have a contract to be able to turn up somewhere, have a large piece of area cutting equipment doing that job, whilst they're doing the small jobs in and around, or the same on a golf course. It could be that there's a mower doing the fairway, whilst the, uh, that groundsman's there doing the bunkers and other bits as well. So I think it's that large autonomous equipment that's the next step.